soccer and sneakers. So it's small though. Soccer, but I got soccer like the game. Yep, yep, like football, but soccer. Yeah, soccer. soccer and sneakers. We'll call it soccer. <laughs> American. Coast dog keeps. YouTube, what is cracking with you? You already know, it's your boy. We are back with another installment of Soccer and Sneakers and I am in Milan, Italy right now. Let me fix this camera. There we go. Yeah, I'm in Milan, Italy. Just checked in my hotel room not too long ago. Um, flew into an airport like 50 kilometers outside of Milan, so I had to take the train in. Uh, and then when I got to the train station, I noticed it was only two miles or so from a hotel. I was like, man, look, I want to see, I like, whenever I go somewhere, I want to see the city. I don't want to just do touristy things and stuff like that. So I walked from the train to my hotel. Uh, it was a little warm out, so it got, it got rough there at the end. But I made it. I'm in the room. I thought the room they gave me it didn't have any power, but it turns out you just had to slide your room key into this little insert next to the door, and then all the lights came on. So... That's, I guess that's how that works. Uh, I was ready to go downstairs and complain like, God, don't put me in a room with no power in it. <laughs> but it's all good. Um, my first stop was going to be to the San Siro Stadium. But apparently they only do tours from 10 o'clock to 1 o'clock. So I missed that that today. I'm going to have to get up tomorrow and make sure I hit that up. Because I want definitely want to bring that to you guys and show it to everybody. So, um... I'm gonna probably take a nap, take a shower, get something to eat, see about the this uh, cathedral called the Dormo, and uh, it's supposed to have some really ni nice architecture, and you can go up to the top of it and get some great views of the city, so definitely wanna check that out and try and get that on camera as well for you guys. And then there's like a mall they call the Galleria, and it has you know all the high-end fashion stores, Gucci, Prada, uh, Louis Vuitton, all that stuff, so. Um, my boss keeps on hounding me, he says I need to get some Gucci loafers, so I might go look and see <laughs> see what they got over there. I don't know if I'm picking anything up, but I'm going to check it out. Man, I'm beat. Um, my flight left Toronto 8.30 last night and got here at roughly 10.30 or so, which is 4.30 a.m. my like on my time. So I'm beat, man. I didn't really get much uh, sleep on the flight, so excuse my low energy, but... I'm gonna take a nap. We're gonna get right back into it. I appreciate y'all watching. Just you know, stay tuned. We're gonna bring some dope content for you. We'll catch you in a little bit. Peace. All right, guys, what is cragging, man? We are at the Domo, as you can see. And it's, I mean, this is a big tour spot, so it's crazy out here. Uh, hella pigeons. I think the Duomo itself is open until five. I'm not sure what part I can still go into. Hopefully I can get up to the top. That's what I really want to do and just check out some of the, the statues and whatnot that are some of the um, architecture and all that. So, uh, yeah, let's hope we can, I can get in and get you guys some good views of it. All right, guys, I was able to cop the tickets, uh, beat the deadline. I think it was a 6 o'clock cutoff. So I'm about to walk up to the top of this guy. So it looks like it's a little hot out too, man. It looks like it's going to be a little bit of a workout, but it should be fun. I'm looking forward to it, and I will see y'all at the top. Coast Dog keeps I 
So, dude came over here said I couldn't tape. I'm um, just gonna get one in real quick on him. Right, just check out that view, man. I wish I could get, I was trying to get to a better spot, but it was a little bit crowded. I was trying to, trying to hide a little bit, but it's just crazy. And then they say these statues up here, <laughs> right there. If you donate 100,000 to the church, you get security dude just walked by. But yeah, if you donate 100,000 to the church, uh, you get to claim one of those statues and then they'll engrave your name on a brick or something at the bottom of the church. Just a cool little piece of info, but beautiful view, man. You get to see a good amount, a good bit of the city. And uh, I am sweating like an animal, so. I'm gonna continue this this uh, this uh, tour and I think the the shopping center, the Galleria, where Gucci, Prada, all that shit is, is right across the street. So I'm gonna go hit that up right after I get done here. Grab me some. As you can probably or kind of see down there and maybe here, um, that's where the that's where the Galleria shopping mall is here in Milan. So I'm about to head down there next, and we're gonna see what we can see. So I did a little research before I came out here too, and one of these like emblems on the tile is a bull, and you're supposed to stand on the bull's testicles on, with your heel and spin around three times for good luck. So I'm trying to find the bull, and then I'm gonna go do that, and so I can have you know some good luck for a year. Boost. And this is the climber. It's the new one for fall winter. It's more more light. Uh -huh. It's more light. This is the travel bag for things. Yeah, cool. Thank you. You want? These Oreo boost here too. Also, all those are 200 euros. I already told y'all if I'm gonna spend 200, I'm probably gonna buy some Nikes. But those are these are tempting. These are tempting. <laughs> these joints right here. Very tempting. I got some killer AC Milan training gear. That shit dope. If I was an AC Milan fan, I'd have to pop. They got all sorts of jerseys in this, in this hat. Just typical like training jersey. That's your Manchester United full kit. Argentina, you know you got a World Cup coming up, so they got all the kits out here. But this is Spain, yep. Spain World Cup kit. Germany. That's dope as hell. Germany uh, training jacket. It's hella clean. I was trying to get some cleats up in there too, but dude was like all up on me. So I'm about to bounce, go try and see if I can find this foot locker. See what they got up in there. Just keep on, you know, walking around, man. I'm enjoying myself. Foot locker right next door to Adidas. Let's see what they're talking about. 
My new friend Nicolo just told me that this is the biggest Foot Locker in Europe. They have a downstairs that's all like Jordan and LeBron's, and then they have an upstairs for women. And they got those Air Max 97 Golds in here, so I don't know, man. I might, I might have to make a splurge. We'll see. Hey, how are you? Good. And you? Good. Thanks. Oh. He just said I. He just said I could. Okay. No problem. Thanks. Down to the Jordan room real quick to take some video. Still got the Tinker sitting. Still got Katrina threes sitting. Still got cement threes sitting. These are adult sizes too, but they were saying the sneaker culture is not as big. And I know, I know, everybody hits on these, but still got the bread fly knits, bread one fly knits sitting too. So they got, they got some shit up in here, man. This is not a bad store. I wish I could show y'all those uh, Air Max 97s, but but he hated on me, so. I might, I might have to cop those. I might have to cop those. And really nice guys in that store, man. And I almost cop, cop those gold 97s, but they were just a little bit too snug. Even though they were gonna give me tax free too, so the exchange rate really wouldn't have mattered because if I was at home, I would have had to pay taxes. But there's plenty of more sneaker stores. I got a few more days here. I didn't want to just, you know, scoop up the first thing I saw, even though it was pretty tempting. Um, now, I need to figure out how to get back to my hotel and not, and I think that's a metro, so I might be in luck. Um, yeah, I need to figure out how to get back to my hotel and not have to pay for another $30 Uber. Um, you already know, man. Stay tuned, comment, like, subscribe. Favorite YouTuber ain't in Italy like me. Out here doing it for y'all. But I'll catch up with you soon. Peace. There's no shame in my God. There's no shame in my God. There's no shame in my God.